Okay, and I'm going to start down with number two. So number two tells us to draw a cylinder and a net of the cylinder. So I want to start off by drawing the cylinder. And so I don't know how you guys draw yours. I just draw a circle, kind of oval looking. Then I draw my two lines down, and then I make that little guy, and then I make this one dashed, just to try to give it a little bit of a 3D effect. And then we're going to draw our net of the cylinder. So I'm just getting out the cylinder, and I'm going to show you the net. So here's our cylinder. The net is what it looks like when it's unfolded. So if everybody would take a second and draw the net. So this is our cylinder, and this is the net. This is what it looks like when it's unfolded. So if everybody would take a second and draw the net of the cylinder. Okay, so we had our rectangle and then the two circles. Okay, number three tells us to draw a square pyramid and I don't know, do you guys know how to draw a square pyramid? Can you do it? And um, you may do it differently than I do, I don't know, I have this tendency to do it this way. I kind of make these three lines come out like this, that's just the way I do it. And then I try to make a square out of the bottom. and then I tend to drop that guy down right there. Okay, so let me get out my square pyramid. So here's our square pyramid. And then I want to look at its net. Of course you have to be taped, don't you? What should it be made up of while I'm fiddling with this? Four triangles and a square. Okay, so here it is. Here's our square pyramid. And when I unfold it, this is what we see. So we have our square, and then we have our four triangles surrounding it. So that is the net of our square pyramid. So we have our square, and then the four triangles surrounding it. So square, and then four triangles surrounding it. So something like that. Did you guys do much with nets like back in like elementary school? Anywhere? We messed with those kind of shapes. You did? I did. I didn't really know. Okay, this one. Take a second and figure out what you think they are. This is matching, and then I'm going to go over your answer choices. So match the net to its solid. So take a second and figure out which one's A, which one's B, which one's C, and which one's D, and then we'll go over that. Austin, what you doing? Nothing. Mm, kind of looks inappropriate from here. Just saying. Okay, do you have them? What do you have for the first one? B. B. Good. How about the next one? A. 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 Beautiful. How about the next one? D. D. Ooh, look. Bad. And the last one? C. C. Beautiful. Okay, let's flip. Okay, I want to go down to where they have um, the picture of either the solid or the picture of the net. It's just going to depend from which one to which one. Okay, so looking at this one here, first I want to know its name. What's its name? It is a square pyramid. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down, that this is a square pyramid. We already saw it earlier. And if they give us the net, then it wants us to draw the solid. So I'm going to draw another square pyramid like I did earlier. So this is just how I do it. I just try to make three lines down that look something like that, and then I try to make a square out of the bottom. And then the last thing I do is I make this little guy just a little dash so it looks a little more 3D. How are your square pyramids? Are they beautiful? No? 
Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's flip. This time they gave us the solid, and what solid did they give us? They gave us a cylinder, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write cylinder. And this time we want to draw the net, and we drew the net earlier to this. Do you still remember what it looks like? Yes, ma'am, I sure do. Okay, so we've got our rectangle, and then we have our two circles. And this net could look differently than that. It doesn't always look like that. Okay. In the next one, they gave us the net. Do you know what that is? Oh, uh-huh, it's a cone. Okay, so this time we want to draw a cone. Okay, so I'm going to just draw an upside down V. And then I make a little curve with it. And then I make this little curve. Dash, so it looks 3D. Okay. And the next one they gave us the solid. What did they give us? Hexagonal okay. So a hexagonal prism or a hexagonal prism. It's okay. I really don't care. And I have one. I have one. What should it um have? Mm -hmm. It's going to have two hexagons and how many rectangles? How many rectangles does it have? Six. Six. So we have our two hexagon bases and then we have six rectangles. So try to draw a sketch of that. So we have our two hexagon bases and then we have our six rectangles. So it looks something like this. Our two hexagons. Oh God, that was awful. And then two, three, four, five, six. Is that beautiful? Uh, Not so much. All right, moving on. Do you know what this guy is? <coughs> Pentagonal pyramid. A pentagonal pyramid. It's a pyramid because the sides are triangles and then the base is a pentagon. So it is a pentagonal pyramid. The last one was a prism because its sides were rectangles. This one's a pyramid because its sides are triangles. Okay, so this one, um, I'm going to start by trying to draw the pentagon. And I don't know how well this will turn out. So I'm going to start, uh, start by trying to draw the pentagon, and then I'm going to try to come up here and have like a, the point where they all come together and try to connect it to all of my vertices that I have on my pentagon. And then this one I'm going to try to make dashed. Uh, that's not so bad. Mine looks like a diseased monkey. A diseased monkey? What's that look like? Okay. What's this last guy? It's a sphere. Do you know what its net would look like? A sphere. Look just like a little circle. You can't. There is no net. There's no no. Okay. The other thing that I want you to do today, this is for um, your five points for a note card, but we're going to make the note card. It's page 31, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do, this is the only way I'm going to let you get your five points for a note card. And so instead of a note card, we're going to, you're going to cut this out and you're going to tape it together. Do you know what this is? What this will make? Uh huh. You don't have page 31? It's page 31? Oh, I thought you said 41. Uh-uh, 31. We backtracked. It's page 31. Okay. Do you know what this is? It's a rectangular prism. So it's a prism because we've got rectangles. The reason it's not a cube is because not all of them are square. So this will be a rectangular prism. Okay, so what I'm going to have you guys do is maybe before you cut it out, so... I don't know what all kind of information you want to write down, but I'm going to have you write something on each of these for your note card. 
and then once you get whatever notes you want written down for yourself then you're going to cut it out and then it says that you fold it along the lines and then you tape together your sides to, um, to make your uh, rectangular prism. So I'm going to give you from now until class is over to make yourself your note card but you're going to make your note card on this. What's one thing you might think that might go on here? Yeah. Formula. Euler's formula. That's what I would suggest. <laughs> so yesterday we talked about Euler's formula. It's in this packet, so you might want to look for it. So um, I might write it. I don't know where you want to write it. I'm not even going to write it because you can do whatever you want. But you might want to look up Euler's formula in here. Write down what the formula looks like. You might put um, an example or two. You know, your problems that I wanted you to do from your review, you know, if there's any problems on here that, you know, you want to put in there, that would be fine. But I want you to put something on every side, and then um, you'll cut it out, and you'll fold it, and then you'll um, tape the sides together. Understand what I'm wanting you to do? So, you need to think about what you want to write on there, and then whenever you're ready to cut it out, and fold it, and tape it up, then I'm just going to put these up here on one of these desks and you can come grab scissors and you can grab tape when you're ready to do that. But write on it first. And then that will be a fun note card, right? Yeah. Colton! Gosh! How do you get to school? <laughs> <laughs>